Hey everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft. This is part three of my Xbox 360 world tour. Uh, when we left off, I had just shown you my lost hatch and the Creeper King hiding in the trees there. And uh, I started this uh, a couple of weeks ago for my birthday. Uh, not the world, this tour. So let's carry on and hopefully we shall finish it today. So we shall go back to the village. So that was the village. And then we go out this way to this little underground chamber. Now what was down here? I think this is where I found um, like a, a huge trench. Yeah, I found a huge trench, uh, like underwater trench here. It goes all the way down into like the underworld and then just sealed off the top with some brick. So this is like so that's going all the way back up to like underwater and I just thought it was a cool thing to find so I've sealed it off and uh, I'm still working on it down here but I thought it was a good way to get its easy access to the underground uh, ah the dwarf <laughs> uh, some of you may recognize this some of you may not this is the red dwarf I completely forgot about this until just now uh, it's not finished yet, obviously, but uh, this will be, eventually, will be the Red Dwarf. Uh, and we've got the, uh, the tail finished as well. But eventually we shall have a, an, our own copy of Red Dwarf. The lighthouse, which we shall go out to in a second. And lots more lights down there. I wonder why. Meanwhile, over here, this takes us to uh, another mushroom island, and I believe another nether portal. Oh no, this is the destroyed nether portal. Um, this was originally a normal nether portal, but then I moved it. And where did I move it to? To the floating island in the sky. Uh, which is the, uh, so, so far, unless you've got creative mode and you can fly, nether portal is the only way to access the floating island in the sky. Um, there's obviously going up, up, up. Did I make a a bit of... No, I was going to make a, a bit of the uh, pathway that had fallen down here, down into the sea. I haven't got around to that yet. Bats. So going up. And this is my island in the sky. So I just, yeah, I don't know why, what the inspiration behind this was. I just thought it'd be funny. Um, my another little house with crafting area and upper bedroom with balcony. I believe the ender portal is down. Ender portal? The nether portal is here. See where this one goes to, and this one brings me. Oh, that's that's this one. So uh, this is where I was saying about the where I joined them all up to the other ones. Um, so the inside of my fortress is like down there behind all this lot. But let's go back. So there is also this the pit. Uh, I actually had to fill this, this was just expanse of water, so I had to build it up, fill it all out with gravel, which took a very long time, even in creative mode, and then I had to blow it up to make it look like the piece of rock had been blasted off from the bottom. And didn't I make another big, didn't I make some more huge, like, sinkholes? I'm sure I made, like, another massive sinkhole in around here somewhere. No, guess not. Good as one I did. Oh well. So yeah, I just wanted to make it look like it had been blasted off from the surface. Um, this is another like underground sinkhole thing that takes me down to. Where does it take me down to? Oh, another underground cave, yes. 
another big underwater cave system that again was just like there wasn't anything here it was all open like that so I had to close it all off before I could uh, before I could um, explore it and build but going up back up this takes us over here takes us all the way back to the fortress so we're very much where we started in the first episode but the one thing we haven't seen yet is the lighthouse and this mysterious thing underneath. Uh, I'll give you a few clues. This was very inspired by Bioshock and Rapture. So, all the way up to the top of the lighthouse. I don't think there's anything up here. I'm not sure. There might be, actually. No, just, just an ordinary lighthouse. The lovely setting sun. But it's when we go down to the very bowels of the earth that we find something truly amazing. There's our lighthouse keeper. He used to have children as well. I don't know what's happened to them. They might have come down here to join everyone else. Yes, everyone else. Because we're down here. It's more than just a house. Down here is rapture. Yeah, this is my own underwater version of Rapture. Lots of houses, uh, a lovely, lovely green forest area with a nice bridge. Clean, fresh water coming in from the outside. More houses. More houses. And this lovely, lovely forest. And in this forest lurks another house. And there's sometimes usually a strange man living here. He appears to have gone. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, but uh, the other thing that I'm doing as well uh, to get to Rapture from another angle is build this big uh, mine shaft. Which, oh, yes, no, I started building a mine shaft only to come across an actual mine shaft, which I will utilize. I appear to be going down there. I don't know why I'm going down there, but I am. Yes, this was a natural mine shaft that I found whilst building a normal mine shaft. Which is quite entertaining <laughs> and unexpected. But, uh, and this is where I shall leave my tour. So that was a tour of my uh, Xbox 360 world. Uh, if you haven't seen the first two episodes, go back and check them. They're on my Minecraft playlist, or you can just go and find them on the video section. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, like, favourite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And I shall see you all with another video and back to normal Minecraft very soon.